Hi guys, uh, today we will do uh, integration between two service now instances. So like uh, you can think about like uh, you can do the similar way we can do integration between any third party application. So uh, here I have one instance and here I have one instance and we will use uh, OAuth 2.0 by using that we will generate uh, refresh token and access token and we will also write a script uh, to save the uh, refresh token in our system property so in further we can uh, use in our uh, script to uh, insert a data to perform any called operation in the third party application okay so let's get started suppose uh, this is my instance one and this is my instance two so what we'll do we'll create one uh, client id and client secret and instance two and we'll send that client ID and client in, uh, client details to instance one, so that uh, here we can uh, generate the token in instance one. So let's come to instance two here to generate client ID and client secret. We have we first need to search uh, application registry. So here I have to click on new. So this instance like uh, we will be providing our client ID and client request. So we have to click on, uh, click on new. Yeah, we have to click on this fast URL uh, over k endpoint for external clients. So once we we'll click on this, so you can see automatically one client ID got generated. Client secret no need to type, it will generate automatically. If I will type something, uh, let's uh, give this instance. ID here. Okay, now I'll right click and save it. So here you will get the client ID and client secret of this instance, and this is the lifespan of the refresh token and access token. So what we will do now? Now we'll go to instance one, and here also we'll search for application registry so here i'll click on new so here actually we'll be consuming so that's why we can use this third uh, hyperlink like connect to third party both provider so we'll click on this this is our provider and this will be the consumer so for this one let me put this url consumer so client id will be this one let's copy and paste it and client secret will be this one copy and paste apart from that we have to add one more token url so what will be token URL? You have to copy the base URL of uh, the provider instance. Suppose you are using some Amazon is provided you some uh, client ID and client secret. Then you have to use the Amazon token URL. How to generate the token URL of Amazon? So it will be base URL and last OAuth underscore token dot two. Once you log this, it will uh, set like if you are using Amazon as I said, then you have to ask uh, your client to give your Amazon token URL, they will provide it to you. So once you will get it, you can right click and save it. You will see automatically one authentication profile will be created below. If you scroll down, you can see here one profile got created. Uh, let's go to, uh, let's see our REST message is working or not. So here you can see I have used the grant type as resource owner uh, password credential. So first time it will ask you for uh, user ID and password to generate the access token. Let's go to rest message. Uh, let's configure one rest message. We will get better idea.
this will be let me create a new let's take like access uh, to let's do this instance uh, id okay by url with the base url of this let's copy okay so now let's uh, choose oh 2.0 here then we can profile the profile which has generated here the same profile we have to copy and we can paste it it is a reference field once we'll copy that it will automatically appear see so right click on this and right click and save it once it will save you can see one uh, yellow color uh, suggestion is coming like both access or request token okay, not available you have to verify this you can see in the below there is one link got generated get OAuth token if you will click on this it will ask you for username and password so with uh, let's uh, create one user account in the provider instance this instance so that by using that user account user detail user id and password and this client id and client secret this instance will generate access token and refresh token not generate like this instance will get the access token and refresh token of this instance so actually i have already set up one user profile let me show you So here you can see one ID I have created. Uh, user ID is token dot ID. You can create some ID and you can set up your password. So let's use this ID. I'll click on this. Now here I'll pass my token dot ID, the username and the password. Let's see the token is getting generated or not. Yeah see you can see your message like our oh, token flow completed successful that means token has been generated it will show also one more message over here it's supposed to let's see yeah, available and it will expire at this time so how the expire time is getting calculated if you have seen here i have already told like a uh, refresh lifespan token lifespan is there so based on these are in seconds so based on this it will show you the expiry date time so now uh, we are able to generate the token let me see there is one token table actually we can uh, see there also the token will get stored this token i guess yeah token see here we have created this instance 49545 49545 see if i right click and so matching you will get uh, you'll see refresh token and access token both things are generated so it is generated and storing in the out of the box of credential table so uh, our next motto will like uh, will not uh, if regularly we can come to this rest message and click on that hyperlink we have to automate that process to automate that process we have to write some script let's do one thing now uh, we'll create one system property will create one system property and that system property will store the refresh token and uh, in future we will use that refresh token and we will uh, communicate with that this instance by using that refresh token let me create one system property this token in this instance id dot token 
let's set this now we have created one system property to store that value in this uh, in this we need a particular script so that script should execute based on the lifespan of this access to refresh token so let's uh, we'll create one schedule job to generate that uh, access token and access token uh, service now has provided already few scripts and with example i'll also add this link in the description here you can see it has given few suggestions with example how can you use this particular class what are the parameters it is uh, accepting we'll use the same function and same parameter what is provided over here here we have to pass the grant type as password and username and password that's it and it will generate the token for you. Uh, if I will come here, schedule job. So uh, let's uh, actually have created one script include with the same script. generate token I created one script include and here I have only pasted the same script whatever service now has provided here so let's see the script only we need to change the username password and then the the application registry name the application registry name which one we have generated over here so this is our application registry this is the known name let me copy this generate token let me paste it over here control v let's save it okay so now we have to store the refresh token to store the refresh token in the system property what we have to do here ga start set properties i guess property i think it is not showing any suggestion but let's see it is storing or not set property will store the property name so for refresh token it will give you with this function this property vision we copy the name of this one and we will paste it over here Let's paste this in our background script to confirm this it is working or not. open now you can see let me paste the code whatever you have copied so let's see control v uh, let me see the property is empty if i will run this code okay it is showing something yeah you can see the property has been set here so to generate that always what we have to do let me go to this here let me save this script let's let it uh, let's uh, generate automatically with uh, like 
based on this time span so what we will do run the script of your choosing we will just call this uh, class in our script include and change the token so it will execute uh, periodically and uh, or else we can execute it uh, yeah let's execute it periodically um, every one day otherwise we can do it execute it daily uh, daily we can mention some time like uh, 12 it will generate what we will do here new we will call that script include state away no need to do anything so it will uh, whatever logic you have mentioned inside this it will execute and it will store the data and this let's empty this record let me store okay, now let's execute this schedule job execute now Didn't store, I guess. Let's refresh. We have only called the fun. We didn't call the function. I'm so sorry for this. Let me copy the function name. And we will see. We we'll have only called the class that control C. So that it will be this will be the class and will be function inside that class. Let me save this. Execute now. Again, it didn't update. Did some silly mistake. It seems. Let's see. Good working. Control S. Execute now. it has updated now uh, schedule job got executed so now like in future we can use this system property uh, to generate uh, to get the access token and to, uh, do in perform any card operation in the destination instance so in the next part we will see a live demo like to insert some data or in incident table and by using this access token thank you very much for your time